In this video, I'm going to wish my viewers the best of luck for the week of August 18th. I'm also going to give you a quick uh, brief rundown of, of what I'm looking forward to this week on the micro NASDAQ. So before I get, begin, guys, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank all of the, you good folks that regularly comment on my videos, that engage with the videos. Uh, I'm a big, very, very appreciative of that. Um, so guys here on the micro NASDAQ looking at the week ahead um, I'm looking at the mean threshold of the this order block sitting up north OBMT right there on the weekly chart um, the micro NASDAQ has come down into and delivered some sell side liquidity we traded below the low of uh, Monday the 10th of July's candle, a very large candle here, uh, that low comes in at 15,063 halves. Um, we do have more sell side liquidity lower that I think eventually price is going to be interested in. However, um, guys, I do think that the week of right now, from what I'm seeing, I'll just cut to the chase. I, I do think that we're going to have a green week this week. Um, I think we are going to have a little bit of a retracement higher. Now, if we don't, all right, let's say that if we, you know, if I'm wrong and we don't have a green candle, then I'm looking down here at this sell side liquidity below uh, 14,853 spot 50. That's our next sell side liquidity target. However, I think it's pretty reasonable to expect after two pretty substantial down weeks that we do get some retracement on the micro NASDAQ and potentially trade. Uh, I'm thinking potentially like a small range, like something up to, you know, maybe. 15,265. I'm not expecting a big range this week. However, if we have some sort of news catalyst, maybe we get there. Um, guys, on the economic calendar, we have retail sales coming out on the 15th. That is Tuesday. We have building permits and we have the FOMC minutes this Wednesday. Um, and so that's what we have looking forward to in terms of our economic calendar events. So guys, I would probably avoid uh, you know, avoid these economic releases and I would avoid the PM session potentially maybe the last like 30 minutes of trading on Wednesday just because of those FOMC minutes that can can really drive some instability in the market. Um, looking at our daily chart, we've had we have been trading down, but it's been a pretty high resistance, uh, a high resistance on the way down. We've got a fair value gap sitting well above price. We've got an order block that we've already tested. We might go and reclaim that. I'm expecting kind of a small weekly range this week, um, potentially trade back up into this inverted, this daily inverted fair value gap here. So come and tag. The high of that candle would come in at 15,279 three quarters. I think it's pretty likely that we tag that sometime this week. Um, I do think, you know, this long wick here, I think price is going to want to come out and smooth out this long wick, some of these inefficiencies that we've had in price this August. That being said, guys, if the floor falls through, that, that is, if we have a pretty aggressive move down, I would look at this sell side liquidity below these two candles. And if it gets really heated all the way down here, do I see that happening this week? Not really, but it is something that you should be aware of. So, all right, uh, I'm going to keep this video short. I'm going to get to focusing on trading. I have a lot of work to do this week. Um, I am expecting a green week for the week of August 18th, 2023 on the NASDAQ. Um, please make sure to check out the disclaimers, guys. Not financial advice. I'm not advising you to buy or sell a security uh, or do anything with your money. I'm not advising you to do it. I'm just giving you my thoughts, uh, my opinion. So guys, I'm thinking a green week this week. I think that we do come and tag at least 15,280, which is you know about maybe 200 points higher. Uh, 170 up to 200 points higher. I, I, I find that is to be particularly likely. The consequent encroachment of Thursday's candle, that, that wick right there, that would take us up to 15,330. I see that as particularly likely after we just had a little bit of short-term sell-side delivery. With that being said, guys, if for whatever reason the market gets heated and we really start accelerating down, I would look below this black candle here. I'd look at below 14,853 spot 50. And if we have a truly disastrous week, then I would look down at 14,427 halves, which are these lows down here. Eventually, I do think the NASDAQ is going to want to take out some of that sell side liquidity. I don't see it happening this week, but if we get heated, it's, it's possible. 
So, all right, guys, with that, I want to wish you the best of luck. I will be making video recordings this week, and I appreciate your subscribership. I appreciate the engagement. Have a good one. Bye-bye.